Hey folks, your OS reviews. So recently I did a bit of cleaning and I came across this. It's a box of screen cleaners for PDAs back when pocket PCs and PDAs were still a hype as opposed to you know, our smartphones and UMPCs today. And this was actually released back in 1999, as you can see from the back of the box, and was uh, produced in collaboration with 3M, worked with uh, Microsoft's, you know, pocket PCs, as well as a palm computing, so your palm PDAs with those monochrome screens. You can definitely tell this is an extremely old product, and it seems like more or less it's still quite new. Uh, the box, the top has been opened before, but uh, all the packs inside haven't been touched, so we're gonna kind of see in this video whether or not these still work, and obviously, it's a, it's a cleaner, so unlike, you know, Monster, and, and they're releasing a ton of these cleaning solutions, you know, one for smartphones, one for your tablets, one for your television, one for your laptop, which has become a bit of a joke lately, but this obviously should still work with modern day phones, computers, we're just gonna do a quick test because we love our gadgets, but they become extremely, you know, shiny as well as covered in a layer of fingerprints and dust as well as grit. So we're gonna try and see if we can use this still. It's kind of unique because it includes almost this uh, two set design, one which has this wet wipe and one which includes a dry wipe. So it's a bit fancier than just a traditional alcohol cleaning wipe or a spray that we see today. So kind of interesting in that sense as well. Um, you can see some basic info printed on the back as well. It says it includes a brain wash, which is uh, probably the wet part and it removes smudges, restores visibility, includes 12 of those packets, also includes the Karma cloth, which is the dust and fingerprint removing cloth. Kind of interesting. And there's also phone numbers and info printed back on the very back from the company when they first put this, put this out on the market. So if we open this up, we're just gonna check out, I guess, one of these. You can see all of these are still tucked away inside. And again, it's a two set piece. So it says grab this packet, rip it open to make your handhelds handheld new use the wet cloth on your screen and then go on to step two. So it actually rhymes, uh, <laughs> kind of funny, but the back also features info from the company. It says Concept Kitchen PDAs, 1888611. So let's try cleaning off the surface of this uh, netbook first. We're gonna try the wet step and tear off the ledge, see if it actually still is wet or not. So, wow, it actually still is completely moist. So even, you know, for a product that's been out for six and 17 years now, it actually still has retained its moisture. So good job for uh, this company here, because they seem to have made a packaging here that's rather impressive. So let's try wiping this on the surface first. It doesn't tell us exactly how long. So as long as you can kind of get some of the grit off, I think you can move on. But if we do a bit of a wipe, um, as far as effectiveness goes, Pocket PCs and PDAs use resistive screens, which were made out of plastic. And today we have capacitive glass screens, slightly different as far as uh, the process of removing smudges and wear. Resistive screens could be cleaned a bit more easily because it wasn't as sensitive anyways. And even if it had a bit of marks behind, it didn't really matter because you use the stylus to navigate the operating system. But uh, if we use a touch controller or if we use a iPad, let's say, um, it, it becomes a bit more important what type of solution and spray they actually are using. So that's one of the differences I'm kind of keen to see uh, whether or not this leaves a mark after you wipe it off. So we've done a bit of a wipe on the surface of this thing. Let's also, maybe let's open this up as well and then do another wipe on the inside just to get rid of dust. Uh, it doesn't say that it gets rid of, rid of germs or anything like that, but I suppose this all cleans your laptop or your uh, smartphone in that process. So we're done now, we're gonna move on to step two and tear this part off. That's interesting. It doesn't look like it is the, uh, as you did before, and buff your screen so bright, and to top the whole thing off, slap on a new right, right. Well, that is interesting. So here is the, the dry part. It's actually using the same material as the wet, except it's a little bit thicker. Um, it definitely also isn't the color of the white that's shown here. So maybe this is still a separate part. The Karma cloth, maybe it's just a, they give you only one of these, I guess, just to use over and over again uh, outside of this pack. Cause this definitely doesn't look like the same as the advertisement there, but let's try this. It's a fairly soft cloth. So I'm not too worried about this leaving scratches or marks. It's also quite clean, so it shouldn't happen. Although it's not as soft as microfiber, so you know, not as, as safe in that sense, but uh, nonetheless, we're gonna see its effectiveness. 
It does seem to be doing a pretty good job, I have to say. It is getting the shine and the gloss back onto this netbook very easily. So uh, you can see there, we now have a very shiny looking surface, uh, whereas before it was covered in a layer of dust as well as grit. Some scratches on the surface uh, that were there before, but all in all, it did a pretty good job without damaging the product. So it does still work, so give it two thumbs up. Of course, you probably won't be able to find one of these anymore in stores and probably not even online anymore, but still kind of interesting to take a look at. So you can see here that all of these do look like they are the same. So I'm not sure if the Karma cloth Oh, it includes just the one of these, I suppose. So it indeed probably was in one of the parts that were maybe lost, maybe thrown out, not really sure, but I'm guessing that it's about the same material as this, except a bit softer and could be used over and over again. It's probably a more durable version of a microfiber cloth. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this uh, retro look back and retro overview of the PDA screen clean kit here at OS Reviews by Concept Kitchen.